You know the secret to a really good julep? No, sir. Well, you crush the mint down onto the ice with your thumb. And you grind it in. Ah. Three measures of Gordon's, one of vodka, half a measure of Kina Lily, shake it over rice, and then add a thin slice of lemon peel. We all try, you succeed. I can't get over you two. She was asking about you earlier, Rick, in a way that made me extremely jealous. I'm sorry if your stepmother is a nympho, but, uh, you know, I don't see what this has to do with, uh... You have any Kahlua? Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to Binging with Babish, where this week I'd like to propose a toast. We're coming up on 1 million subscribers, something I'm very excited about, and I'd like to make a few cocktails to mark the occasion. Let's start with the signature drink of the dude, a white Russian. In an old-fashioned glass with ice, combine 2 ounces of vodka, 1 and 1 half ounces of Kahlua or other coffee-flavored liqueur, 1 ounce of heavy cream, and there you have it. The preferred libation of his dudeness. Cocktails are easy, so we're gonna do a whole lot of them today. You can optionally mix this before imbibing two sips if you're lactose intolerant like me before leaving and giving it to your roommate. Next up has gotta be the easiest one from one of my favorite movies, Groundhog Day, Sweet Vermouth Rocks with a Twist. Peel a twist of lemon, rub it around the rim of the glass, add sweet vermouth, and that's about all there is to it. The very first step on the long road to seducing Andy McDowell. Next up has got to be the easiest one from one of my favorite movies, Groundhog Day, Sweet Vermouth Rocks with a Twist. Peel a twist of lemon, rub it around the rim of the glass, add sweet vermouth. Uh, sorry, I'm just messing around. Next up we have Ryan Gosling's shirtless cocktail of choice, the old fashioned. Start by soaking a sugar cube with a little bit of aromatic bitters, muddling them together, measuring out or just pouring in about two ounces of good Kentucky bourbon, adding ice with a cocktail spoon for some reason, maybe just because it looks cool. Not that it looks cool because it doesn't. A nice wide orange peel that we're going to twist to release some of its natural essential oils or something. Mix together to make sure that that sugar is absorbed and drink the whole thing all at once. I would drink two just like Emma Stone did, but I have a lot of cocktails to make tonight and I'm already feeling not so sober, but luckily it's time for one of my favorite drinks, the mint julep. Grind the mint into your palm with your thumb, even though it's going to make no difference because we're just going to muddle it with a cube of sugar anyway. But if Robert Duvall tells me to do it, I'm going to do it. Mint juleps require crushed ice, something that you'd normally use the crushed ice function in your refrigerator for, but when you have to buy your ice at a bodega, you have to make do with the tools on hand. Whack the ice until it is about the size of M&Ms. Make your downstairs neighbors wonder what the hell you're doing and fill the cup three quarters of the way full with ice before adding two ounces of bourbon. A little splash of seltzer, topping up with as much ice as the cup can hold, and garnishing with a sprig of mint. Make sure you're drinking this with either a red straw or a metal straw. You want to keep everything as cold as possible, and also it looks pretty friggin' classy. Speaking of classy, it's time for the Vesper from Casino Royale. We're starting with three measures of Gordon's gin. He specifies Gordon's, which is odd. It's pretty cheap gin, but whatever. One ounce of vodka, one ounce of Kina Lilit. Kina Lilet, Kina Lilet, Kina Lilet. We're obviously going to shake this over ice, insert James Bond joke here, and prepare a chilled martini glass into which we're going to double strain our martini. We don't want little shards of ice in there. Prepare a thin slice of lemon, and give it a good twist to release the essential oils, rub it around the rim to sort of imbue the entire cocktail with its flavor, and enjoy. I'm able to drink this without spilling it, so I must be good for one more cocktail. It's time for the preferred drink at Rick's Café Américain, the French 75. Start with one ounce of gin, the juice of half a lemon, about half an ounce, a little tiny squirt of simple syrup, maybe a quarter ounce, stomp down your cocktail shaker, shake it over ice, Strain into a champagne coupe glass and top off with about two ounces of real champagne. Real champagne can only come from champagne. Or seriously, just use some sparkling white wine, especially in a cocktail. But since this is a special occasion, we're doing the real thing. Garnish with a lemon twist if desired. And it's time for drink number six of the evening. Now, sure, I've been mixing all different kinds of liquors, and sure, I just spilled a bunch of my drink all over the table, but this ain't my first rodeo, and I'm sure I'm gonna be just fine tomorrow. Over the years, each of us would discover that Barney's elixir actually worked. Like, way better. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Veggie with Babish, where this, uh, to, today we're going to be making Barney Stinson's Hangover Fixer Elixir, which starts with some Funyuns and a banana, along with, uh, some freshly, uh, peeled ginger, ginger root that we're going to add in there with some bacon grease and uh, 
Tales from Soda, which I think is them making fun of the old 90s energy drink Surge. We're gonna put all those in the bowl of a stand mixer. I mean, a, a blender, blend them up good. I'm sure this is gonna be really tasty. Pour it into some kind of glass. I don't really care, just pour it into a glass. And I am potentially allergic to bananas. Last time I had a banana, I went into anaphylactic shock, long story, but anyway, we're gonna have that at the ready. And this tastes really super gross. Big surprise. It tastes like lemon, lime, funyun, banana, ginger, bacon, juice. But I figured I'd need to drink the whole thing. But I was wrong. It just made me feel worse and it made me go get sick. Mm -hmm. 